Bata Manga. My name is Shinya Nakamura. I'm just a regular, run of the mill office worker. Recently, I secured a deal, so, as a treat, I got myself a present. It was a slightly expensive piece of steak. I was going to have some sukiyaki alone, quietly and peacefully, but then, suddenly, some kid, about kindergarten in age, stole the bag off my bicycle handle and ran out. However, he immediately tripped and fell over. My groceries went flying out and the brat started bawling. Apparently, the kid wanted to take my groceries. Huh? What are you doing, man? When I talked to him, he just started crying harder. I wasn't sure what to do, but I couldn't imagine a child like this to be doing this on his own. It had to be an adult pulling the strings. And lo and behold, the woman who seemed to be his mother showed up, clearly furious. Hey, you! What the hell did you do to my child? What? Your child stole my bag and then tripped on his own. Stop bullshitting! He's injured! You're kidding yourself! This insane mother was talking to me like I just kicked her child. I turned around to see that the child had stopped crying. He found the switch that fell out of my bag, and... It's a switch! Yay! Seemed happy. Hey, kid, that's mine! I took the game from him when some old lady and security guard came flying out. What happened? When I was about to explain, the insane mother said, This man injured my son and then stole his game. What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Hang on one second. How dare you do that to a child? Shame on you. Seriously, security, detain that man. J just come to the office for me. He calmly escorted us all to the back. Usually the mother screams bloody murder in situations like this and then starts making insane demands. And then... You! How dare you injure a child, then steal his toy? The first person to talk, the old lady who worked here, started saying something completely illogical. I was going to make her talk first before I make my case. Insane Mom decided that was her chance. Security. Miss, please hear me out. This person shoved my child, injured him, then stole his brand new toy from him. He needs to pay me for all damages. Let's call the police. This loser old man shouldn't be riding that fancy bicycle either. I'm sure that bicycle is stolen. This man definitely steals things. He's a criminal. I can see it in his eyes. I've seen things like this happen in the news sometimes, or documentaries. I didn't think it would happen to me. And I was thinking it was about time that I retort. Just so you know, you keep talking, but you know that my bag was stolen. And then you went through it to steal my game. Sorry, your little brat over there did. I just took back what was mine. Bullshit! Why the hell does an old man like you even have a switch? And that bag is mine, and all the stuff that I bought. Maybe she saw the meat in the bag? She started claiming that the bag and everything in it was hers as well. What? Are you seriously going to push that lie through? Are you seriously okay in the head? Shut the hell up! As payment, you give up your bicycle. I was honestly beyond pissed, and just started to pity her. It was almost stupid to deal with this insane mother. I really can't believe that there are people as crazy as this. And then... Let's call the police. The employee even started treating me like I was guilty. I had enough and decided to go on the offensive. That game is mine. Flip the switch and I'll show you. There's a sticker on it with my name. I showed them my driver's license as well. Also, this bag. It's mine. See the name tag? I've always liked watching YouTube videos and seen stuff like this happen to people before. I really didn't expect it to happen, but just in case, I started putting my name on things that I own. I really didn't expect it to come in handy. More importantly, you've been treating me like some kind of criminal, huh? Are you even listening to this insane lady's story? It sounds crazy. The child isn't even hurt. Huh? Th that's... The quick-to-conclusion employee seemed to understand her mistake. Sorry, sir. I just thought that you looked like a criminal compared to them. 
<sighs> All these people. Then, suddenly, the store owner showed up from behind. So, I'm, I'm so terribly sorry about this. He came in, bowing and apologizing. He just kept bowing and apologizing, so I almost felt bad for him. And he gave me a bunch of coupons that I could use at the store. Didn't get any, but I was just glad that I was proven innocent. The insane mother must have thought this wasn't turning out like she wanted, so she was trying to sneak out of the office. The ambulance that was called by the lady employee showed up at the right time. The insane mother couldn't back out now, and they took the uninjured child to the hospital. The next night, the husband of the insane mother showed up with a bag of snacks, apologizing. Apparently, the store manager called the police, and the mother coughed it all up. The child was, of course, uninjured apart from some minor scratches from when he fell over. The doctor seemed to pity the whole thing too. I'm so terribly sorry for me and mine. The husband seemed like a normal guy. I recorded all of what happened in the office and played it back for the husband. That little... Oh, how dare she? I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm not going to deal with her anymore, so it's fine. But you should be worried about your wife. She's clearly using your son. What's going on with that? You two really need to talk about it. He sighed as I told him that, and he just walked out quietly. I got another call from him. Apparently, they got a divorce. When I looked her up, apparently she's been doing that several times around here using her son. It wasn't technically a crime, but I was apparently the first time that security and police got involved with any of her shenanigans. The husband found out everything, and he got tired of her. My child didn't know about anything, so I'm going to try and teach him right from wrong going forward. I was just working and working, so I think this is my wake-up call to focus on being a parent as well. He told me everything. Of course, the husband had custody of the son. He works at a large company and is going to ask his parents for help raising the kid. That insane mother has dropped from her celebrity lifestyle to a poor one in a split second. I'm sure she's lost it by now. Serves her right. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. What did you think of today's episode? Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on today's story. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>